Hi guys, this is a, a quick demonstration of how you connect your T205 Bluetooth smart module to your Mertec Maxitrol control system. This is a module that runs on three AAA batteries. You just unscrew these four port points there and put three AAA batteries in there. It runs on Bluetooth only and it has some ports here to connect to the Mertec system. Very simple installation. All you need to do is have three AAA batteries. Have your batteries in your Mertec module here. Our communications cable and our thermocouple ground cable. So this is how you do it. You plug in the cable into the Mertec system here. Like that. And then on the Bluetooth module you'll plug into the four port on the module here and that's your communications done. Then you'll get the thermocouple cable. That cable plugs in here next to that. There's only one way it can go in. And then on the other side the red cable goes to thermocouple on the Mertec module. So there's a spade connection there that you just screw into. And the black cable will go to the ground of the fireplace. And that's it, you've hooked up your Bluetooth smart module to your Mertec system. So let's see how it works. All right, so we've hooked everything up in place. The Bluetooth module is underneath the controls where the Mertec module is, and we've connected the app. And as you can see here, we have a controls temperature setting there. We have the outdoor temperature setting. We have up and we have down flame. We have on, off, and we have settings. In the settings you can change it to Celsius or Fahrenheit and it shows you a thermocouple reading there so we know when the fireplace is on or off. So at the moment it's off, it's showing around 1.27 volts in our, in our algorithm. So we'll turn it on and the app will turn the fireplace on and there's a sequence here for around 35 seconds that will allow you not to touch any other buttons just as a safety mechanism to you know, allow children or people to turn the fireplace on and off constantly. So we have around 35 seconds ignition sequence here. And you can see there's a flame coming up there now. Um, if we go into settings, you'll see the thermocouple rising. So we now detect that there's a flame and we know 100% if the fire is on or if it's off. So we'll go back here. And so you can see the flame there in the background, we can lower it. So you just touch the lower arrow and when you want the flame to be a certain level, just touch it again. So the same with high, if you want it to go really high, you can flame high and then touch it when you want it to stop. So a very simple operation, if you want to turn the fire off, you just simply press the off button. And there you have it.